Reports of juveniles caught with guns driving stolen cars happen literally every day in Indianapolis. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid attended a youth violence prevention summit today that hopes to find answers. This is the spot where seven children were wounded during a shooting at the end of March in downtown Indianapolis. And that incident forced IMPD to come forward and warn parents and children that for their own protection, it would start enforcing the city's curfew ordinance. Witnesses told us that shooting resulted from a social media beef between teenagers, and that's often the common denominator in youth violence. A lot of conflicts are made instantaneous from the use of Instagram, social media messages, stuff like that. So something can go from online to in person and having actual physical violence really quickly. This conference at Ivy Tech is drawing on the expertise of Indy's youth to come up with solutions, asking the teenagers what type of prevention programs would work for them. How can the different groups network to better share resources and bridge the gaps that some kids fall through? Another point that we're going to talk about negative and positive propaganda and what image is being cast how we adults carry ourselves in the agendas of the media that is pushed, they are very impressionable. When all else fails, IMPD has its curfew ordinance to fall back on, though it seems just the threat of detaining children out late and calling their parents or guardians to pick them up has played a role in curbing some types of juvenile misbehavior. We don't want to have to utilize the curfew. Um, and it's not, we don't want to scare anyone to some tactic thinking that way, but it is a tool at our disposal to use. Utilize. Um, we've had to use it very minimal. We've only had three instances where a, uh, a few juveniles were picked up and provided to their parents. The juvenile charged as an adult in this shooting goes on trial next month. In downtown Indianapolis, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.